For today's notes, we continue using formulas in geometry. Last class, we looked at the area of a regular polygon, and today we're going to look at the area and circumference of circles, but we're not going to look at the whole area of a circle or the whole circumference. We're going to look at parts of the circumference and parts of the area. So I want you to recall from last class right here at the top that in a circle the degree measure of an arc is equivalent to the measure of the central angle of the arc. So in this example here, if this central angle, again the vertex is at the center is 80, then arc AB is also 80 degrees. Another example, if I have a circle with a central angle of say 30 degrees, and I'll call this C, D, we'll call this O, the measure of angle C, O, D is equal to 30 degrees, but what is also equal to 30 degrees is this arc C, D. So that's equal to the measure of arc C, D. So you put the two letters with the arc over the top. They're both equal to 30 degrees. So in the first box of the table, all the way to the left, I just wanted to review the area and circumference formulas, which you had to use the area formula on the spiral. So here are all the parts. And remember the circumference, this is a circumference laid flat, okay? It's in terms of a linear measure when we measure circumference. So in units, where area is units squared. So the area formula is pi r squared, and circumference formula is pi times diameter, or I can say 2 pi r, as in 2 radii give us a diameter. But I want you to note that pi is the ratio, if you were to solve for pi, of circumference to the diameter. So up here we said that the degree measure of an arc is equal to the degree measure of the central angle, but we can also measure arc length in terms of a linear measure. Okay? An arc length, the formula is given by S S equals arc length, and I just wanted to highlight here that arc length is simply a portion of the circumference. So I need to know this angle theta, well how much of 360, because there's 360 degrees in a circle, so what fraction of the circle do we have times the circumference, so times pi d, or 2 pi r. Area of a sector, area of a sector is a, this piece here, think of a piece of pie or a piece of pizza, that's called a sector in geometry, that's a portion of the area. So the area of a sector I still need to know how much of the circle we have, so what fraction of the circle times pi r squared. So moving down to example number one, it says what is the arc length, okay, arcs are on the outside of the circle, so we're going to be using circumference to the nearest tenth of an arc with a central angle of 60 degrees and the radius of the circle is five inches. So drawing a picture, here's my circle with the center, radius five inches, again it has a central angle of 60 degrees, so using this radii, I'm going to make an angle here of 60 degrees. What is the length of the arc? So how long is this arc? Arc length 
is how long it is in terms of a linear measure, not a degree measure. So S is what I'm looking for. Again, first start with how much of the circle do we have? So we have 60 degrees out of 360 degrees. That reduces to 1 sixth. So we're looking at 1 sixth the total circumference with a radius of 5. So that means our diameter 2 times 5 is 10. So our arc length S is equal to 1 sixth of the total circumference, which is pi d, so pi times 10. So I could also write that, put this over 1, is 10 pi over 6. Or I could reduce it to 5 pi over 3. Type that into the calculator. We have an arc length of 5.23598. 7756. The nearest tenth is here, so my arc length is approximately 5.2 inches. And number two, we're going to find the area of sector MN or MPN, excuse me. So the area of sector MPN is here. This is 80 degrees, this arc measure. Remember, that's equivalent to the central angle. So I'm looking at 80 degrees out of 360 degrees, which reduces to, you can take away the zeros, 8 over 36, which are both divisible by 4. 8 divided by 4 is 2. 36 divided by 4 is 9. So I'm looking at 2 ninths of the total area. So the area of the sector is equal to 2 ninths of the total area, which is pi times radius squared. And we have a radius of 3 inches. So now I have 2 ninths times 9 pi. The 2 ninths can cancel because you put it over 1 and you can reduce the fraction. And we end up with 2 pi over 1, which is simply 2 pi. It wants the answer in terms of pi. So the area of sector MPN equals 2 pi inches squared. Again, circumference is in linear units, where area is in square units. In number three, it says the gray sector area is equivalent to 30 pi inches squared. What is the radius, part A, and then what is the area of the whole circle? So first, I'm going to use the information that the area of my sector is equal to 30 pi. And remember, the area of a sector is how much out of 360 are we talking about times pi r squared. I'm not given the radius. That's what I have to solve for in the first one. And then I'll use that to find the area of the whole circle. So I'm looking for r. So I'm going to substitute the area of the sector, which is 30 pi, equal to 300 pi or 300 rather out of 360 for my central angle. Cancel those out and that simplifies to divided by 6, 5, 6. So I'm dealing with 5, 6 pi r squared. We can divide out the pi's since we're on both sides of the equal sign. I'm going to also multiply the expression by 6 to clear the denominator. So I have 180 equals, the 6 is cancel here, 5r squared. Divide by 5 to isolate the r squared. And I have 36 equals r squared. To undo the square, I take the square root. And the radius is equal to 6 and negative 6. We can reject the negative 
as it, the radius is a length, and length won't ever be negative, it'll always be a positive measure. So my radius is six inches. Now I'm going to find the area of the whole circle. So area of a circle is equal to pi times r squared. And I get pi times 36, which is 36 pi. Now, this question didn't tell me to round. It said, what is the area? And since it didn't tell me to round, it must want the exact area. And the exact area, even though it doesn't say to leave it in terms of pi, is always in terms of pi. So the area is 36 pi square inches. All right, and number four, it says a circular plot with a 720 foot diameter is watered by a spray irrigation system. To the nearest square foot, what is the area that is watered as the sprinkler rotates through an angle of 50 degrees? So we're looking, we have an angle of rotation, 50 degrees, that is divide 5 out of 36, 536 of the total circle. It told us that we have a 720 foot diameter. So that means our radius is 360 feet. I need to find the nearest square foot. What is the area that is watered by the sprinkler? So again, it's going to rotate from here to here. So what is the area that it's going to cover? I need to do 5 out of 36 times the full area, pi r squared. So 5 over 36 times pi times 360 squared, which equals 536 of 129,600. 536 times 129,600 is 18,000 pi. Typing that into the calculator, we get 56,548.66776. I need to round to the nearest square foot. So the area that is watered by the sprinkler is approximately 56,500, I'm sorry, it's in the nearest square foot. So I'm not rounding where the six is, caught that when I went to answer the question. Near square foot is here, so this six is going to bump that up to a nine. 56,549 square 